Can a DIY guy try and fix this on his own? I don't know. The lawnmower guy was mowing a nice straight line all along. But for some reason, with the big giant arm, he decided to reach in to that area about three to four extra feet. And unfortunately, he picked up our internet wire. Well, cut it there too. Yeah, he cut it in like six places. Here's a piece. That's a totally separate piece. Here's another piece. It's completely shredded. Even if they were somehow able to make a, if they have special splicing, you know, connectors to redo this, you don't know if it damaged it somewhere else down the line. And it could be like, you know, you'll see like folds and bends in it. Yeah. That... Well, you see right here, it's definitely yeah. no good. They're going to have to run a whole new cable. And I really hope they do it soon because we waited long enough to get it the first time. Yeah. And we, you know, we only had it for like, what, three weeks? Three and weeks. <laughs> it was in to be buried. And it's just really, really weird how he only went in like a foot to a foot, maybe foot and a half on this side. And then on this side, if that's all he did, it, it would have been fine. He never would have hit it. But he went in further, right? He was mowing in this direction. And then even worse than that, after he did that, he then continued to mow and just cut down all my little trees that were growing here. He annihilated my trees. Just they look just like that little one right there. And they're gone. I mean, I understand if you look at the wires up there, they don't want the stuff growing up and, uh, you know, just a guy doing his job, but it's, these things happen. Yeah, it's a bummer. Yeah, we went down to the town hall highway department there. The guy was very nice and he, he made a phone call. He called the manager of the uh, internet provider and uh, he said within a couple days, we should have somebody down here to fix it. So let's just hope that that is the case and we're not without communication for too long. And that's it. Bummer. So, yeah, you never know what's going to happen. It's like that. <laughs> we'll off-grid again. <laughs> yeah, just like that. All right. Well, this is Kathy. And this is Rich. And we're trying to create a simpler life in the Adirondacks. We're trying.